Support for Cinema Classics comes from Film Columbus, enriching our community to make Columbus a destination for film education, exhibition, and production. Learn more at filmcolumbus.com. Cinema Classics is produced by John DeSando and Johnny DiLoretto. Listen to shows every Thursday at 8.01 p.m. and full shows online at wcbe.org. I'm John DeSando. I'm Johnny DiLoretto. This is Cinema Classics. It is indeed. And best-selling author, maybe of all time. Certainly the wealthiest of all time. Charles Dickens. <laughs> Not William Shakespeare, but Stephen King. Okay. Okay? Yep. The kind of guy who rents out a theater just so he can, he and his friends can enjoy 28 days later. Mm. Not only does it signify his wealth, but also his good taste. Anybody can rent a movie theater out. <laughs> I know, but I just thought that he loved 28 Days Later. I think it's maybe his favorite. Is that right? Film. Yeah. He's got bad taste. I know. I think that's a great it's film. It's fine. <laughs> All right, recently he's had... I like the sequel better, actually. Okay. All right. Okay. I don't like zombie movies where they just vomit on you. <laughs> I, thought, I thought this one had a little bit of intelligence. But we're talking, yeah, yeah, about, yeah, whatever. We're okay, talking Stephen about Stephen King here. Right. There's not... Author. Actually, yes, probably one of the... Would you say the most adapted content modern author? Uh, he has the most number of motion picture adaptations by a living author. By a living? Right. Okay, right. by a living author. Right, right, right. Okay, so here's the thing. It's really an easy discussion because many of those movies are crap. <laughs> so when we're talking about all these Stephen King adaptations, we're really only talking about a handful of actually great movies. All right. And it gets no better than the one that irritates him the most, The Shining. Oh, I know. He can't figure out why people like that. It's the best. <laughs> I know it is. I know. No, because it adds so much inner textuality and, like, depth of character. Like, we, re we watched it recently with Franco. We showed Franco. Mm -hmm. He loved it. And Franco's seven years old. Yes. Yeah. He loved it, loved the pacing. You know, it's got Danny, the little kid, in it, so he's got a hook to follow. Yeah. Um, blood coming out of the elevator. Blood coming out of the elevator. <laughs> but it was it, it was a pleasure to watch a Kubrick, like my seven-year-old, uh, be sort of mesmerized by a Kubrick film. Mm -hmm. There was so, there's so much going on in it that I don't care. Stephen King obviously doesn't get it because, you know, I, I, he's just... Maybe not that complicated. Well, I don't know. I mean, when I think back to my own proms, now I can't help but think about Carrie. Yeah. And that was 1976, and it's really his first um, film adaptation. Right. And, and it can't be almost as powerful as Shining, would you, would you say? Of course. It's, it's, a, it's a great movie. Sissy Spacek is otherworldly. She yeah. looks otherworldly. <laughs> um but, again, you have Brian De Palma at the helm. So you have a master director, or at least, you know, you have certainly a director of note, of artistic worth at the helm, right? As is Stanley that, Kubrick. That's what I'm saying. Okay. That makes all the difference. <clears throat> yeah. So there He's, are a hundred movies of Stephen King adaptations not directed by people who are great. You are so right, because he's had, in addition to that, George M Romero, who was he's still alive. George Romero? No, he died. Yeah, okay. So he was his best friend. And he had him directing... Interestingly enough, dead dead. <coughs> Not living dead. <laughs> he, did, he, he, he did direct Creepshow uh, back in 83. But you look at David Cronenberg, mm -hmm. John Carpenter. So David Cronenberg did The Dead Zone. You got it. Christopher Walken, another great one. Well, and Carpenter did Christine. Okay, see. Yeah. Uh, Rob Reiner did Misery, Misery which I like a lot. That's one of the you know, best. And, and that's, he, he frequently has writers, and that's the perfect one mm -hmm. for the troubled writer. Uh, then, three in a row back in the 90s, okay. Frank Darabont did uh, The Shawshank Redemption. You got it. Which is probably great because it's not a horror movie. You're right, exactly. Finally, one, um, a movie that's based on something other than that. And The Green Mile. Okay. Okay. And The Mist. Now that's a fun one. Isn't that's that a little different? Yeah. But who? Oh, Frank Darabont directed that. Yes, he that. did that yeah. as well. So th actually, three in a row, or at least there is. Certainly, you remember the ending of that movie. Well, it's it is the gut <laughs> it is the gut punchiest <laughs> ending of all time. Oh, I don't know. Spoiler alert! I'm going to spoil it. <laughs> all right, right okay, go ahead. So he's in the car 
with his kid and his his family. Oh yeah, and they're going there brush right, the people. Right. Well, they think it's the end. Right. He's got a gun with some like just enough bullets to take care of all of them. Okay. So he kills everybody but himself, and just as he goes to kill himself, uh, the mist lifts, and the military is there, and everything's fine. Okay. All right. But... <laughs> it's terrible. All right. Okay. I got yeah. it. Yep. But otherwise, it's you know again. My going to the grocery store is different now because of that film. Oh, yeah, for sure. And, um, and then I don't find any great directors after that. After that late 90s, as I look through his filmography, uh, you know, there's a remake of Carrie. Awful. Yeah. And uh, I can't... Alert I'm, the media. John called a movie <laughs> awful. And, but we, uh, we did have It come out this year, right? Yeah. That movie is a mess. <laughs> I mean, I can't. I'm astonished at how uh, successful it was. Yeah. Well, your son loved it. He loves it. He <laughs> loves. He's, you know, Pennywise. He was obsessed with Pennywise for like a good solid year. Well, I, I was very happy. By awarding it a B, with Pet Cemetery. Mm. I didn't think they did a bad job on that. And I hated. That. Yeah, I, I know you did. I'm, I'm gently saying this to you. Mm -hmm. um, but I only just recently watched the original, okay, which I thought was interesting, okay, and I thought the ending was really, really kind of great. I, I liked the ending of that movie. They they take a different tack in this new version, okay, and it's it's just not as effective. Okay. And then they keep trying to add these twists and layers to it. You know, enough with the twists already. All right. Well, his favorite writer is uh, and good friend is J.K. Rowling. Hmm. Is that right? They, they should collaborate supportive. on something. Yeah, they, they have a uh, very supportive of her. And how about uh, just looking at his trademarks? We know he sets most of his stories in Maine. Yeah, if not all of them. Right, and I've lived in small town Maine, uh -huh. and I can verify that he has caught the, the, the spirit yeah. of those small towns. Uh, he also has... Many of his lead characters are writers, his lead males are yeah, writers, right, right. Uh, although this last one was a How imaginative. <laughs> All right. And then uh, he has, he himself has, is in cameos. He frequently has a cameo, though okay. I didn't see him in these. Maybe I missed him. Uh, he has, <clears throat> for everyday occurrences, he has the supernatural that he lays with. So take a small town, ordinary people, and then he has some kind of a supernatural edge. Let me ask you a question. Yes. Would this, because it was so hotly anticipated for decades they finally adapted the dark tower series oh yeah and i think it was what idris elba and matthew mcconaughey oh okay all right and i i didn't see what it. A... i'm out is that oh was it? god i mean i didn't see it oh but i mean it tanked hard oh yeah 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 and it's, yeah it, you know and it was so disappointing because uh people waited so long for for an adaptation of that yeah and it was just yeah. uh you know fizzled yeah quickly at the box office one more uh, <laughs> that you might have lost track of. Uh, under his uh, pseudonym Richard Bachman. Ah, yeah. The story of The Running Man, one of Arnold Schwarzenegger's first oh, vehicles. Oh, boy. Wow. Boy, you're pulling that one out. Yeah. Whoa. That? Very good. Well, I think it's to add to our discussion. I think it's interesting that many times the kids get killed in his stories. Mm. You know, for instance, in this most re in Pet Cemetery, yeah, uh, and in um, Cujo, a kid gets uh, screwed up anyway, and he had the body. What is that? What is it? Cujo <laughs> kid, gets screwed yeah. up. What kid? <laughs> I don't know. It's Tad. Tad. <laughs> Tad. Tad. Right. Yeah. See the kid in the car screaming. But that's what they should remake Cujo. I like that. That's a good one. I like Cujo. Uh, anyway, uh, wow. You know, I I I will tell you this. Because this doesn't often often happen. I mean, let me scratch it. Uh, let me tell you this. Because this doesn't often happen on this show. But I have been in the short span of our conversation really turned around here. Because I, when I, at the beginning of the show, when I said I don't think a lot of great movies have been actually adapted from his works, right. I stand corrected. Oh, I mean, we just rattled off a bunch of them. The Shining. Yeah. Uh, Cujo, Carrie, uh, Carrie mm -hmm. right. Christine, right. Um, Shawshank, well, Shawshank, Shawshank, Misery, yeah. and, and it does go on. There, there are about <laughs> ten great movies. And anybody would be happy to have a filmography that includes ten outstanding films. Right. And The Shining, of course. Not only one of the best adaptations of Stephen King, but maybe one of the great films of all time. So, 
in conclusion, lesson, the lesson, Mr. King, mm -hmm. is make sure a great director is at the helm. Boy, amen. And that's the contribution of Cinema Classics. Yes. Here's to you, Stephen King. I hope that uh, maybe you can rent a theater out and bring us to see one of your films. <laughs>